So now that we've taken the majority of the things off, we need to set the vehicle at top dead center. Um, so what I've done there, I'll show you how it's how you have to do it. But you see these little marks here. So what I did was I set them on my vehicle in the front crank pulley so that I could set it from the front and um, then I can check it like I'm supposed to. Normally, you would need either someone's help or a really long, um, uh, maybe a pry bar here or um, a long ratchet so you could grab it from the top and I'll show you that in just one minute. But this makes it easier. So I just come down here and I point that guy it's supposed to be all the way to the bottom, uh, like directly under, but I usually like to just point it just a little bit more in case I, I go over. So it'll make more sense here. And from the front of the engine, um, you always turn it clockwise. So now let's go to the inspection hole. And that is right over here. And let's see here. Let's zoom in and see if I can get... Oh, nice. Not too bad. So as you can see, there's the OT, and I just need to maybe do, what, maybe quarter of an inch more. That line needs to line up with that marking there, and as soon as it does, you're a top dead center. So that's the way I do it. Otherwise, like I said, you kind of have to lean over the vehicle from here while you're looking down, and then, so you'll be looking down from here, and then with another arm, grabbing this and just kind of like turning it while you do it. So that, that's too difficult. So again, that mark in the front really helps me out. And again, you just stop a little before it so that you don't have to rotate the engine one more time. But that makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to adjust that really quick, but there you go. Now, once that's set to top dead center, uh, then what you want to use, and this comes in handy because when you're, when you're done, you need to torque it. So this takes the place of the starter, and that's the flywheel locking tool here. So the starter normally has these teeth here that engage. So this goes on the flywheel instead. So it replaces this. And you just use the same bolts, lock it in place, and that way your vehicle stays where it needs to. Now, a lot of people will say that's optional. And yeah, a couple of times when I did it in my older Porsches, um, I had to grab a pry bar, make sure it was held in place. There's uh, stoppers that you can use, but honestly, um, if you're going to be working on on this on the engine, I would invest in this guy. It's um, uh, there's different places online that you can find it. I think I bought this from Arnworks, but um, anyways, there you go. Top dead center and the flywheel lock, and uh, that, that's my method. All right, guys. All right, stay tuned.